Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. We're on day 13 of our Lone Survivor series here in Alpha 21. As you can see, my infection is still climbing. I took the one thing of honey I had and it got it all the way down to 0.1 and then it started climbing back up again. So I just sat there throughout the night watching it climb and I'm hoping that I didn't bring any money. Okay, uh, real quick before I even do anything further, I didn't open these in the last video and completely forgot, but I wanted to wait to have you guys with me here before I open them so you can see what they were. All right, first thing we got, we got two on vehicle crafting. We needed those. 14, 15, okay, and some more spear crafting and some food crafting. Cool, cool. And then scrap armor bundle. Nice, improve armor crafting. Okay, we can make tier one cloth and scrap armor quality five. Woo! And iron quality level one. Nice. Okay, so I don't think I have anything that needs to be replaced. Okay, so that's a three. I'm going to keep my padded gloves just because I want to. Level three boots. I already have those. And the helmet. Um, I'm good. I can sell all these. I need to see if this idiot over here has any form of antibiotics. I know Trader Jen would, but we haven't found her yet. I seek antibiotics. I'm hoping you have some. Please, por favor, do you have anything? You have a blood bag. That's not going to help me. Do you have... No. Okay, well, let me sell this stuff to you real quick. All right, 860 monies. You did restock today, so I need to see what you do have. Ooh, do you have a mini... No, you don't have a mini bag thing at all. Okay, so you really don't have a lot. Food, cooking, uh, let me see. Weapons and ammo. Do you have a shotgun? Uh, you got a baseball bat and a pistol. You don't really have much, dude. Any good mods? Not really. I, thank you, kind sir. I don't know if you do or not. Um, okay, so here's what I need to do. Do you have any jobs that don't like? These are tier three, so that one's a fetch. A job for the bear den. Months. No. no need to apologize. Not doing that one. I'm not apologizing. You can just shut all the way up. The Brett residence. Hey, that's perfect. My son's name is Brett. If for some reason you didn't know that, which at this point I don't know how, you wouldn't know that. I need to find some tree stumps. I know on my drive home yesterday, I stopped by all the ones that were, uh, you know, within my line of sight, basically, and um, got all of them. We never did get any honey. Let me see. You and you need to put in there. That's going to be for when I go over and do my dig quest. I've got three treasures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got three treasures maps that I found over here so far. Claude's, Nicole's, and Taylor's. Oh, this opening trader right here, I'm going to wait to go see Trader Hugh until I get my mini bike. So we're going to head over here. We're going to do some missions here. And what I need to do also is I need to swing by the Horde base, which is literally right next to me, and do some topping off of some things here. It's in good shape. It doesn't really need any repairs. What I do want to do is go through and add some plates to the wall where the zombies were punching on it last time just to add a little bit of extra durability and maybe keep them from wanting to punch it as much, hopefully. I'm saying that with some inflection in my voice because I'm not sure if they will or not. Sylvia seems to be the leader of doing all the things wrong over there, which I get it. She's been through a lot. She has her. She has the right to take it out on me. Uh, let's see. I'm looking to see if there's any tree stumps real close by. Usually not too many up in the yard. Glance over here real fast. Nope. Nothing Nothing super obvious. Okay. Now, I don't want to do just jobs. I do want to do some work on the base because uh, I knew we're going to need to. Horde night is tomorrow night. We need to make sure we're nice and prepared for that. Hold up. Make sure we're reloaded. Everything is good to go. Okay. Money, pipes, and some glue. Nice. Turn on my headlamp so you guys can see what's going on. Can I sneak in here? I think, uh, let me see. There should be a dude hanging out in the corner right over here. Right. Where's where's the dude? There's usually there's usually a dude in the corner. Maybe. Oh, there he is. He moved. What's up, Tom? Oh, swing and a miss. We didn't miss that, Tom. Stab you right in the kidneys. Okay, well, we can loot this and see if we can find something useful. That I'll take. Sand I'll leave behind. How about something first aid wise? That just be that would just be ducky. Anyway, while we're here, guys, quickly thank you for all the support on this series so far. I appreciate all of you who leave comments and tell me how much you appreciate this series here. Also, for those of you that have popped in now and then and told me that my videos have helped you through some very rough times in your life, I can't possibly tell you how much I appreciate that. 
uh, there's uh, there's there's been some people that have gone through some some very very rough times in their life, and they have taken the time to let me know that my videos have helped them out a lot. And I can't, I can't possibly tell you how much I appreciate that. It, it means a tremendous amount knowing that I was a positive part of possibly a less than positive part of your life. You know what I mean? So thank you for everybody who tells me those kinds of messages. Uh, I, I really do appreciate that. Makes me feel good about myself and my content. So anyway, if you're, if you're here and you enjoy the video, do me a favor, leave a like on it. Helps out a lot. Know that I appreciate it. Okay, so we'll take you, and I'm leaving that stuff in. I got so much just random junk at the house. I need to kind of stop carrying as much of it with me if possible. Okay, let me top you off real quick because I've got a plethora of... Uh-oh, hang on. No, don't hit me! Ha-ha-ha! Oh, ha. Lois saw me about to go refrigerator raider here, and she stepped in to say nay. Oh, that was close, and all that was in there was bones. I don't need any more bones. I need some first aid, man. My, I'm going to find some honey right about the time I get over 5 percentage on the uh, infection meter again. I want to get in this room over here. I don't think... No, there's not another way to get into this room that I know of besides just beating your way in. Let me in. Yeah, I think technically you can beat apart that right there, and you might be able to reach the working sifts crate from through that wall, maybe. But I think you have about as much room. What are you? About as much room as you do if you just, you know, beat through the door that's right there. So I, I don't know. It's I've never really done it one way that I thought, oh, the other way is so much better. Beer. Nah, I'll leave it behind. Cornmeal. I'm definitely going to take you. Whole corn. I'm going to take you. And some nasty. Rotten, horribly ugly meat. I'm going to leave you behind. And you I could technically sell. I think that's about it for in here. Make sure there's nothing else up here. What, what, would you quit it? I'm just trying to jump and look, see what's up here. Being all dumb and stuff. Brett's residence was pretty easy to complete here. All we had to do was just get the supplies. Lois and Kyle again. Whoops, we missed. Stab you right in the leg. Make you do the Charleston. We're good. Bust. Oh, first aid. Come on, please. Please, please. Uh, that's not at all what I was wanting. Here's your other kitchen. Did you make me any coffee? You didn't make me any coffee. I don't know if I checked the one that was downstairs, but I can almost guarantee that they didn't make me any coffee there. I'm pretty sure the chances of actually finding already made coffee in this game is... Just slightly above impossible, but barely below not ever going to happen. You know what I mean? I think it's pretty much code, especially if your name is Cap. I, I do believe the Fun Pimps have added some lines of code in the game. They're like, uh, here's the such and such values. Unless username equals Cap, then decrease those values until it's an unfathomable amount and completely unuseless. Come on out. <laughs> have you been drinking? You big idiot. You fell out of the freaking cupboard. What a moron. See, there's some good coal. Stay down, sir. Check your trash. Oil and wood. Okay. Oil is good. Go ahead and wreck all the pictures of your cats because screw those things. No, I don't have anything against cats. I'm just talking about your pictures of cats. Don't care. Uh-oh. Is that why you have pictures of cats everywhere? Because your dog's an a-hole? I get it. I get it. My bad for destroying all the pictures of the uh, the cats, knowing how bad your dog is. Come out. Okay, you stay in there for a second. Sylvia, hey, do you have any uh, do you have any first aid in here? I, I need some here. Let's see if you happen to be hoarding any first aid in here. You got some le uh Owen, you're not hiding any first aid over there, are you? That shot. I need one of you idiots to have, uh, I don't know, antibiotics would be good. Scrap you and take you. Antibiotics would be great. Uh, I will be okay with honey at this point. Hey, honey. <laughs> do I have any lockpicks? I do. Maybe, just maybe we'll get lucky in there. But we need to check all the rest of the crap in this room first. Take you and you. Don't need the sand. We don't have a cement mixer. And I don't have a sandbox. Okay, just want to make sure there's nothing else over there. Value, good to go in here. Edgar, t tell me something you had something in your gun, Seth, man. Tell me you had something good. First try! Didn't break a single lockpick. Thank you, game. 
Spear improvement. Cool. No stamina while sneak sprinting. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Let's see. Bone shift. Level 5 bone shift. Meh. And robotic parts and sledge parts. I can steal the Or sell those. I don't need to steal them. I've already stole them. Who in here? Lieutenant Dan. Oh, God. That startled me. I was not prepared for that. That startled me. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> okay, hang on. There was a slight little pucker just happened. I wasn't prepared for the boom. <laughs> Whoo, man. Sylvia, did you see that? We almost blew up. I think Spider-Man's, or s stupid spider zombies trying to come through that way. You can just keep trying that way. Are you trying to imitate the spider zombie hoping that I won't do it? That, that startled me. <laughs> you got us both killed almost. Woo, man. What do we have here? More brass from doors. Eh, I've got plenty of brass. I don't really need any more. Painkillers. You know what? I'll go ahead and use those. Just kind of help top off the last little bit of life that we left and some damage mitigation. Ooh, please, 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 please. Uh, well, that would help be helpful if we didn't already have the infection. I know I'm encumbered. That's what happens when you take all the stuff. There has been some conversations I've seen you guys having in the comments about whether or not I am a hoarder or not. And um, I take great offense to that. Because <laughs> I'm in fact a hoarder. I have admitted it. I've never shied away from that. Painkillers, aloe. Okay, well, what I can do with you. Recipes. I can make some... Wait. Oh. Okay, you need regular band. Okay, so I gotta turn recipes, turn you into a bandage, and then recipes, turn you into a first aid bandage to stack up right back down there. Boom, back up to what we started with. All right, so we found the main loot. Now we just gotta hope that there's something good in here. Shotgun Messiah, how about a shotgun that's not a pipe shotgun? Just a level one dubsy would be fine with me. Handgun crafting skill, okay. And shotgun parts, actually needed that. Ooh. Nice. Okay, so we actually did need that shotgun parts here. With that, I can make... Did I not get you? Oh, you're just paper. With that, I can make a uh, level 1 shotgun. I hear you out there cracking thunder. It's storming again. I mentioned in the last video about uh, downloading a mod to offset the weather a little bit. Some people had said that GNS was using one. And gun crafting. Pistol quality 3. Steel spear parts. And... Salvage tool crafting and some gas. A wrench quality four. That's not terrible. All right, let's see if our luck is holding up. Okay, it wasn't holding up as much. We broke a few lockpicks down to just the four here. All right, Hunter's Mod. Some dot. Oop, one pipe bomb? That's it. One pipe bomb. Rifle crafting. Okay, and the rest of that is mine, and it's chunky. Check you. Maybe you got some first aid. A level two pipe rifle? Uh, No. No, don't need you. Don't need you at all. All right, we're fully chunky. We can head back to the trader, dude. See if I can get off this house without breaking something. And I think we... I think I... Yeah, I got everything. We're just completely chunky. So I need to go back to... Actually, I need to stop by the house real quick and drop off a few things. If I see a tree on the way that's, you know, all stumpy, I'll definitely see if I can't beat it down to maybe get some honey. Although we're at the point now that if I took it right now... By the time I chopped down the tree and drank the honey, it wouldn't go back down below zero anyway. It'd go back, back up to where it was at. Well, I see no stumps over here, so we might as well just hobble our over-encumbered butts all the way back in here. Turn in some stuff. And I'm going to end up... I'm going to need to sell a few things to him. Do I have any? I have none. You, I don't need. You, I don't need. That'll at least clear up the space that I need. You, I could technically sell... Uh, is there anything else I don't have to have right this second? Let me put you down there. That'll clear up a few. We got enough to accept whatever he's going to give us. That should work. Some antibiotics would be great. What's up, dude? You've made my day. Vitamins, forged steel. That's another one. Robotic turret. Eh. Yeah, claw hammer. I have one of those. Forged. I'm taking the. I'm taking the forged steel. I am. Okay. Now I can sell a couple things to you here. And that's about all I can sell. Keeping the shotgun parts. I can't believe you don't have... Well, let me double check to make sure I'm not missing something. Gratitude to you, too. You don't have anything in here that would be useful to you. Beer, moonshine, water. No. How about some food? you have anything in here that would help me out? No. 
Do I hear a zombie growling at me? Because I don't, I don't appreciate that at all. We are a little bit wet and we are a little bit thirsty. Hey, it's a headshot. Buried him halfway into the ground. All right, let's run back to the house and drop off all of our juicy loots we have over here. We'll swing by the ditch that's over here. And then, I, you know, nothing else. I'm going to go find a stump. We've got to find some honey. If I can find an ambulance laying around somewhere, uh, maybe that would be a good idea to see if I can loot and find some first aid there. I don't have anything at the house. I've already double and triple checked here. A little bit more stamina. <clears throat> okay, let me drop off everything. Oh, we got an airdrop coming in. Let's head off to the northwest. So that's going to be a slightly different direction. We haven't been that way yet. Looks like there's some mountainous things there. I don't know if we could take this road and get up there. We'll do a quick waypoint so we don't lose it. Now, I wanted to check real quick to see. So I can make a dubsy. I can only make a level one. Forged... <sighs> It'll be useful to have during the Horde Night, of course, but it's still not great. It's just one of those that I'll be happy I had it eventually. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm going to run over here and get some Agua because he is definitely whining about being thirsty. I think I have some food on me too, so I'm not worried about that. I still have not looked to see because I just haven't taken the time to see how much water you get with every drink. I usually overhydrate myself. I'm going to end up busting a kidney one of these days in this game just from drinking like six gallons of water when I'm only slightly thirsty. Hey, I see you, Lois. We're going, we're going hunting for some stumps. You want to come with me? I can call you Stumpy. You can be my buddy. All right, we found our first one. We're going to have to get lucky. We're going we're gonna to need at least two to be able to get it completely down to zero. And we didn't get one from that one, so the the search continues. I have to get the infection under control. If you guys never watched my Wasteland Warrior series, which, to be completely fair and honest, I have to say it's probably my best series I've ever done. That one was just harrowing. There were so many times we were almost dead. The final conclusion to how we ended up dying was very, very dramatic. And it just, it was a fun freaking series. But anyway, I got infected on day one, and I think it was like day 11 before I finally found a cure for it. My infection level, I think, got up into the 80s percentages. Bad things happen. Like, the further you go up, you start losing health. You can't use your stamina as much. Uh, you stay like, I think you even stay encumbered more too. So getting it under control is not just a risk because, oh, at a hundred percent I die. It's because like every 20% until you die makes life playing this game so much more difficult. And where are all the damn stumps, man? Yeah, we got one. One down, one more to go. I'm going to get this infection back down to zero. I do not want to start tomorrow's horde night with being all goopy and stuff so i definitely need to get it back down that'll at least take it down to 1.3 before it finally starts counting back up again but we need to get it down to zero so we're going to keep going until i find some more stumps there's got to be a few more stumps in this world somewhere right not into there i feel like winnie the pooh pretty much just running around the world hoping for a little smack roll of honey just a little drop a little taste i'd be willing to sell eeyore for a jar of honey right now just one little droplet of honey for this poor little Pooh Bear. Oh, bother. Yeah! There we go. Hot diggity dog. I swear I'm speaking in Disney today here. Nice! All right, so we can head back towards the house. Our infection is good. Let's just hope we don't have to encounter any more of those damn stupid birds. Because the stupid birds are what's caused, or was what gave us the infection. Zombies hit me all the time, and I don't, I need to knock on wood, but I don't usually get infections from zombies. Usually it's either birds or stupid dogs that give me the old Trotskys here. And I'm not a big fan of those. And they always sneak up, they're hard as hell to hit when they're flying at you, they peck you one time, and then you're SOL. Oh, thank you game for showing me some love on the old RNG. Now I did have to go through a couple stumps to get two of them, but I won't hold that against you. Make me just feel a little anxious about it, right? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, game. Okay, we don't have a ton of cobblestone. We got enough to do a few blocks here. But again, it's not in too bad a shape. So we can come over and look and see how how everything looks over here with how we left it, basically. All right, so you're all good. They didn't do any damage. Hang on. Okay, so that one took a little damage. 
And that one took a little damage. Okay. So this is where they kept banging on the walls. Also, some people had told me that I had the ladder set so that if the zombies ever wanted to, they could climb up over the top of it. You are correct. I had those facing backwards when I put them on. So that could definitely come back to bite me in the butt later on. But again, that's one of those like, you know, that's a problem for not me. That's a problem for tomorrow's cap. Which eventually I'm gonna I'm gonna really learn to dislike Cap a lot here. All right, so we'll put you on face, put you right there, get you upgraded a few times. And good to go. All right, let's make sure they didn't damage any of that. That took a took a little hit over there last time. Okay, so they run around, they hit this, they, they're they a little bit down. So that's one of the things that I did on purpose here, is they're a little below, because I put this at the bottom, they're a little below this, so they can't see this, they can't just jump and climb straight up this, they have to jump and get a little lucky first. And technically what I could do is, I mean, I could beat these down and rotate them and replace them. Uh, they have a lot of durability. It, You know what? Okay. Okay, all right, you've convinced me. Let me break these down and put them down in the right spot so that tomorrow night shows up. I don't start regretting and think, Cap, you a-hole, you left me to die here. Let me break these down, and then we'll spin them around the right direction and replace them. There we go. All right, so now what I need to do is get you back to the default here so I can use, was the scaffolding ladder? That, yeah, I think that's the one that we decided works the best here. All right, so if I have you like that, I think that is with you facing this direction. So what I need to do is, let me see, turn you to advanced, gets you to rotate around like that. I think it's like that. And by having it like that, they can't climb it. But I can still hit, I can still stab all the way through it without hitting, I can, okay, that hits those rungs. I think that's the way it's supposed to go. I mean, t I know that'll technically work. Uh, hang on, I have to repair this one real quick here. Stupid. Would you scroll? There we go. So if I pick, pick you up. Let me try this again. We're kind of we're kind of thinking out loud here. All right. So if I put you back, rotate you back around to the way you were to begin with. All right. So let me check here. I think. Let me see. This is not the climb direction. It's this way, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So it needs to go. It needs to go backwards from there. You are. Let's see. If I put you like that, which direction are you? You are on. The front side of this shape. I need you to. I need you to be on the other side. You know, I changed my mind. I'm putting it back to this direction here. If I have it the other way, to where it's a climbable ladder and it's facing upright, it doesn't necessarily matter. It's not going to prevent them from hitting the blocks, regardless. And it this will keep them from being able to climb it anyway. And I believe these crossbars right here will prevent them from being able to cops from being able to vomit through it, which is part of the reason why we like using those. And I didn't bring anything to upgrade you any further. So that should be good there. I have this set, so if I need to, I can, you know, retreat to here. Um, hang on. You know what? Let me break down this top level here so it's flush. Okay, so you're good to go. Flush that direction. Make sure over here. Um, I can't, I can't do anything additional with this wall. This is where she was beating in last time because she could see this is behind it as a space. The problem is that I have, you're good, right? I mean, if I just break you down, you're not going to fall apart on me here so that I can, how much, you got to, you don't have that much up. Let me break this apart real quick and replace it with some solid cubes so maybe they'll stop seeing that as a path to get to me. Hang on, somebody's making a bunch of noise. We got a small little gathering over there at the police station. Did somebody try and somebody coming this way? I see some shadows. Where you is, lady? And who are you? You sound like Big Mama. Hey, we can test it out and see how well it works. All right, uh, step up and see if you can help us out. Come on, let's do it. May, and this will also give me a chance to see... It is Big Mom. I knew it was her. See if she's going to try and go for the wall. 
Nope, she's gonna come straight for me. That's good. That's the way we want it to go. You big idiot. Now it's gonna take her a bit to come back down. I can work on beating on this pole. Uh, I can work this pole a little bit more while I'm waiting for her to come back around. Yeah, I hear you. I know you sound very displeased, the fact that you have to walk all the way around again. Well, it's not my fault you fell off. I didn't even get a chance to make that to be my fault. There we go. Now maybe they won't see that wall as a weakness to try and come through. This one, at least, is kind of... It's the same thing over on this side, but, yeah, we'll see. All right, don't fall off this time, okay? Come here. And there she goes again. There she goes. That's why I like fall-based bases here, because it just inconveniences the crap out of them. They get all pissy. It's lovely. Eventually, what I plan on doing is getting Sledgy and putting him, like, right here... So that as they're running, you know, across this, they can just bink and pop them right in the face hole. And that'll be lovely. But I got to get a sledgy, and I can't make... I don't think I can make a sledgy yet. Uh, wrote, nope, can't make myself a sledgy. Have I gained another... No, I haven't even gained another skill point. I could just hop... You know what? Tell you what, here. You're all by your onesies. Let's... Here. There you go. I know I didn't want to make you have to climb all the way up there again. We get all this resources right here of stuff and things. It's lovely. You're doing good. Okay, so I feel the base is okay. Let me double check to make sure everything's good over here. They can't climb that. They can't get to me. Dogs can't crawl underneath. They can't crawl over on top yet. If things go horrible, I can hop up and over. And then I have a secondary backup spot over there. Of course, I'll have to deal with birds. You know what? We should probably run back around that direction and make sure that our anti-bird defenses are in better shape. Come back over here. Yeah, this this is our anti-bird defenses right here. Just there's not much to it. <laughs> it help, it's a little bit. Every little bit helps, right? Okay, so I can put you like that. Uh, I can't go over too far because then I'll make it like that should be okay. Because then I can get up here and I'm not going to hit my head on that. You know what? I can absolutely see that causing problems. I'm gonna put you like that. You're supported. They're kind of connected, sort of, not really, but kind of. And I could go like this. That won't stop them. They can still come in that direction, but every little bit helps a little bit. All right, let me get these upgraded real quick. Realistically, I could probably completely close this wall off because I can still get around to get up right over here should I need to. This is also my method to, I use for doing repairs too. Is Big Frank gonna come over here? He just left the butcher. He's just like, I'm totally full, dude. See, he eats all the times. So all he does is just eats and gets jiggly. Uh, you know what actually would be a better idea here if, you know, let's not piss off Future Cap. Maybe put a door right there. That way we can at least get back and forth to this side should we need to. Wall this place in and then I'll come over here in a little bit and be like, come on. Door. Wouldn't see. Yeah, we'll just do a standard single door. We don't need anything grandiose. And I'll even put you on the outside. I can't upgrade you. Let's see what that looks like. All right, that should keep the birds from coming at me from this direction. They can still try to fly in that way, but at least they kind of stop. This is not going to do much for them. That window is pretty much just going to be an escape route in case things go horrible. I think that's okay. We need to bring some torches over here. Okay, uh, let's see. Don't kill yourself. Good to go. That looks like a straighty window. All right, so I want to make myself the dubsy. Hello? Hi! Y'all excited to see me? Hold on, we got some idiots running around over here. Let's go say hi to them. I see Frank, I see Big Mama. Get some big hosses down here, get a little bit of extra experience. Hope we don't get a... Ooh, that had to hurt. Hope we don't get another infection. Yeah, we got some of the chonky zombies out here with us today. Two big mamas, two Franks, and not counting the two that we already dealt with over here. You can go ahead and go down. You're lucky you move real slow. And Frank is just gassy as hell. You've been eating them German sausages, haven't you? you do, by the way, a nut shot does not really do any more damage than literally any other kind of attack, but it's just far more satisfying. Uh, I'm curious. I don't think I ever went up 
all the way up over here to see if there was anything like right up here. Sometimes at the top of these things, there's usually like a thingy. Maybe I did. Okay, never mind. God, Cap, you're going to break something. Just haphazardly sprinting around like that, you're going to break something. Shrooms are doing good. Our uh, mushroom heads are... Yeah, we got them growing out of the floor now, too. That's just lovely. All right, so I need... Let's see, I need you. What else do I need for you? To make myself a doubly... Let's track you. I need forged iron, duct tape, some plastique, and a couple springs. And ta-da! We're going to have ourselves a level one shotgun. It's not going to be a lot. It's just a single. But that way we've got shotgun ammo. And that way at least tomorrow night while we're here we have something that we can go bang bang. I have had some people uh, saying that they have noticed that uh, when they fire off their double barrel shotgun that it shoots both at the same time. I haven't tried one yet in Alpha 21, so I don't know if that's a problem I've had. I mean, obviously I don't know because I haven't used it yet. But thats I don't know if that's a problem that I need to kind of look into or not. I'm not quite sure. All right. Well, we're close enough to the end here. I'm kind of going to wait for this shotgun to uh, finish forming here, get all my stuff ready. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to go hit up and see if I can't do this dig quest. Maybe go get that uh, buried supply thing that we have sitting over there and we get some good stuff from that. We got our infection down. That's the big, big, big thing to deal with here. Super happy about that. So tomorrow will be a much longer video because it's Horde Night. I'm looking forward to it-ish. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss any of my future videos. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you later.